Yeah. And sometimes people don't know how to deal with them. But Troy Three, one, is someone who's been leveling up, constantly grinding. And Zeus was a demon for him for a long time. But the more you talk to him now, the more confident he is about playing against him. And Troy's gotten a lot better lately. He's you know. my favorite. Right, so so we, went the or, we went to Oracles last night, right? And mm -hmm. we're doing free play. Mm -hmm. And I was playing like actually perfect. Like my perfect. Yes. 10 out of 10 flawless task fought style chic. And Troy was still going even with me. And like, <laughs> okay, well, Are he, you getting he, old? He didn't win. No, he just got, he was just playing out of his mind. He didn't like win the matches, but like you can tell when someone's going to toe with toe with you or whatever. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah, we were just raw dog zero to deathing each other. It was really nice. Oh, God. And he doesn't play that way all the time, but hell, neither do I. So who am I to talk? That's true. It was really cool. It's cool to see watching people like just grow. That's why Troy's definitely one of my favorites of DFW by far. Yeah, uh, his okay. story is the most fun to talk about. Yeah, so Troy got the first dog, and then Sonic's like, all right, I'm going to use the B button now. Yeah, that's that's kind of the degenerate side of Sonic, right? I it's mean, that's why everyone hates him. Ooh, he actually dipped low there to avoid it, and patiently waiting for that F smash to finish. Dude, it's so obvious that Nintendo had no idea what they were doing with Snake or Sonic. Just <laughs> no idea. All right, let's get make one character. What does he do? He spins. Perfect. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Ship it. <laughs> How about this guy? He does nothing but blow them up. Has anybody ever here played one of his games? I'm pretty sure he sneaks. Nah, he doesn't sneak around. Fuck it. He blows them up now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. He's Let's just remove the espionage yeah, element. He went, he went from Metal Gear Solid to Rambo in one move. <laughs> oh. Down tilt? What Why? do we do for his down smash? That's an explosive, too. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, just, you know, big, yeah. big nuke, big rocket launcher. Just do it. He never uses that thing like that. He uses a Nikita. No, we don't have Nikita no more. We got to give him the sleep darts. What are you doing? That's a stock. <laughs> all right, and there it goes. Zeus like, yeah, all right. That's the stock. I think you take it out flashy. What do like. I pause? Um, maybe controller reset, or maybe his hand fluffs. He's try. He tries some new things from time to time. I don't act like I know what he's doing sometimes. Yeah. I can tell you that. Oh. No, he's good. He waited. He waited. I kind of wish he would have sweet spot there. Yeah, that was a sweet spot for sure. Well, whatever. It was a reset. All right, dash it. Ah, oh, punted. Uh, he's done. Yeah. Dude, do you know anything about Sonic's up throw? Up throw? No. Sonic's um, up throw is one of the most automatic combo throws in the game by a lot. How? Life. He just has years to react. Why does no one use it? I, I see everyone use back throw. They go for positioning. They go for down throw. I don't know. Okay, so basically, I have a theory on the game at this point. Good players value being good at the game, so they don't play gay, shitty, jank characters like Sonic. Sure. Okay, but then the people that are drawn to those kind of characters, because they're so far from learning the fundamentals of the game, they just get as far as their character will take them, and they don't ever improve. They'll hit like a wall. It's like self-imposed by the character. Ooh, Max, I want to say something right now, but I'm not going to because I feel like one of my friends is going to watch this and get mad. Yeah. <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah, okay, will you ever see, like, a snake player and just have no fucking idea what they're talking about? Yes! That's it. Because right? well, they don't have to, because they just sticky you, throw right. you, you and hit 80, it. and then they C4 you, and you and die. It's not necessarily their fault. It's no. the, that the character is not conducive to normal growth. Exactly. Yeah, it's like Jigglypuff. Kirby Kaze used to have, like, a thing in Melee where he would always do, like, edge, oh. he would always edge guard with, like, Sheik's rising there on Jigglypuff. Yeah. Because he would hit her into the stage. Because the Jigglypuff players never wall tagged it because the Jigglypuff players are bad at Smash. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? He's right. <laughs> He's just so right. I mean, it's also you can't blame them. You're right also because they can, you can't blame them because that's the best option. There's nothing else in the game that is so conducive to that. It's like, hey, this is going to work every single time. I don't care. And I don't need to learn anything else. I can right. just up throw you, C4, you die. Yeah. If, and if your character doesn't force you to push yourself to where you have to learn those skills, you're not going to. Absolutely. And that's why Falcon, Marth, and... Uh, Sheik are so valuable. And those the people that are good at those characters, they'll never play trash like Ice Climbers. Yeah. They just don't. They're like, no, I'm better than this. Right? Like, it's mean, but you know it's true because we it's, see it. I think it's for reasons of, like, yeah, it's partially the gimmick thing and they have pride. Yeah. I think it's also the fact that it's, like, those characters aren't conducive to, like, like, you can't look at Icy, like, you can't look at Falcon, Sheik, and, and Marth and be like, I learned something from those characters that I'm going to take over to Icy's. Right. Uh, like, okay, so you say, different. let's say you start on Ice Climbers and you decide you want to be a good fundamentals player. Yeah. And all of a sudden you have to develop a punish game. And like, all right, I guess I just went from being a tier two player to a tier four player in one move. <laughs> By the way, I was totally right. Zeus won the first game. Damn it. Suck it. Troy, come on, man. You can do it. Step it up. 
This is why you can't trust brown people. <laughs> Unless it's with your taxes and computer science. <laughs> oh my god, he's living though. Up air? No, rising pair. I, I trust you with two things. Making cheap plastic toys that I can ship out of China and translating the thing that's on the back of the incense boxes. Oh my god. I guess you'd be. You were a telling me about uh, what's his face. Yeah, I bet you'd be a great ivory hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what I okay, so I work with a bunch of Indian people, whatever, and whenever they get mad, I tell them I'm gonna like convert them to Christianity or give them like smallpox, and they don't get it. <laughs> they just don't get oh, it no. at all. It goes straight over their heads. Dude, Troy's up. He is way up. I'm telling you, he got warm, dude. No, I'm telling you, he just said, uh, like, I'm, I'm playing on the edge. I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> All right. I think he just said, okay, he's doing Zeus things. I'm going to not let him do Zeus things. I think, uh, do you think stage selection also helped here? I mean, yeah, but it's a counter pick. You can expect that. And honestly, Battlefield is not giving Marth a whole lot of advantage or Sonic a whole lot of disadvantage. If there's something to it, I don't know what it is. It's it's this stage <laughs> is a statement of Troy saying, "I believe I can outplay you. Just play me on a, neut a, nor a neutral stage." And well, they're you. just on Pokemon, right? So that's not that's not terrible. Marth is not bad on Pokemon. Marth is not bad on Pokemon. I just think that <laughs> uh, Sonic has more room to roam on Pokemon. I might go so far as to say that I think Marth would do better on Pokemon Stadium because Marth has a really hard time dealing with this top platform up here. Yeah, that's true. And Sonic is just like, Camp. I can, yeah, Sonic can take a stock and be like, you're not playing Smash this game. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. But <laughs> Zeus doesn't do that sort of stuff. But he could. But he could. But he could. But he hasn't. And he never has. Zeus I mean, is always someone who wants to go in and press buttons. I, yeah, I guess if your opponent's not using it, it's not on the table, right? So, exactly. All right. Well, it's not on the table for this match. The first time I played Lunchables, uh -huh. uh, we were playing my Marth versus his Roy, uh -huh. and we random Sky World, mm -hmm. and I got I got a jank killing him at 30, and I camped the top platform for the entire eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to, from, to, to Lunchables with love from the East Coast. We don't give a shit. <laughs> Y'all are so lame on the East Coast. We're, well, yeah. I, lo I love it and because you guys will be lame to each other, and then you'll talk shit to each other, which is even more hilarious and to No, me. it's friendship. That, that, that's <laughs> the thing that sucks about Dallas, right? You can't shit talk people because they like get mad and take it personal. They will. That's a Southern thing, but, too. Yeah, okay, but if you're talking to people and you can never really relax around them, that that <laughs> that true 100% trust isn't really there. You can trust someone 90%, but that last little bit is never on the table. Sure. And that affects you in the long run. I think the big thing is it's, it's not necessarily like the, the the trusting thing. I think it's more like just mannerisms. Like down here, we're not we're taught to never say anything like that. Not yeah. because it's like it's <clears throat> not like us being honest. It's us being like. We don't Reserved. want. Yeah, yeah. We don't want people to feel like any anything bad. Like we don't want to risk anyone feeling bad because uh, we also have the right to bear arms. Yeah. See, <laughs> East Coast. You know, you got a friend if someone comes up and is like, "Yo, fuck you," <laughs> but you're still cool. <laughs> no. Zeus, <laughs> why? All right, camera, pan back, pan back to me and Nebby. Ah! All right. <laughs> this is agony. Oh! This is me, bitch. Yeah, just look at all. Damn it, Zeus! We should have bet on it. You hit him with the grime. You hit him with the muck. This is why white people have all the money. Ah! <laughs> God, Dan. Tony, man. I was. Bible rough. doesn't want you to gamble. You shouldn't I, gamble. I was so close. Yeah, you don't read the Bible. <laughs> How much racism can we cram in five minutes?